Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. The House budget sets aside $200 million for Schools of Hope. Sponsor Chris Latvala calls it an attempt to reach kids in failing schools. I had a uh, lucky zip code, and so my neighborhood public school was a good one. Uh, not every child in Florida uh, has a lucky zip code, and, and there are tens of thousands uh, that, of students that are stuck in, in persistently low-performing schools. But House Democrats have taken a caucus position against the funding. They say charter schools have an unfair advantage over public schools, and these extra funds would just widen that gap. You have air conditioning that's dripping on students' head in public schools, and then other students get the opportunity to walk into a brand new building? That's not right. But Schools of Hope isn't the only bill seeking to help charter schools. Tucked away in a massive gambling bill is a $1 billion appropriation for charters. Chevron Jones calls it unconscionable. We are, again, moving in the right, wrong direction. That is not where those dollars should be doing, going. We should be pushing those dollars into the public school system. Charter schools may also see some cash from the legislature to help repair facilities. Senator David Simmons wants to dedicate a portion of local property tax revenues to charter school repairs. We're dealing with assuring that uh, charter schools are able to have a portion of those monies. All of the funding ideas are still weeks away from certainty in the legislative process, but added up, they would give charter schools the best funding ever. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.